Hello everyone, this is our Bluetooth enabled lithium inbuilt UPS and currently it is running on backup mode as you can see and these loads are running. Now we are going to connect it with our mobile using Bluetooth. First you have to download Swastika smart application from play store or app store of android and ios respectively. Now open the application. Select bluetooth and start scanning. Make sure your UPS is on. As you can see the available devices came up and just select it. Now it is connecting to your UPS. Click continue. Now you can see each and every parameters of the UPS on your mobile phone. Currently our system is running on backup mode that's why it's showing mains fail. As you can see in the uppermost part warranty is showing which is in month date and time format. The serial number of your product. Now you can see the switch is currently on. This will show output frequency, battery voltage, load percentage, battery type connected with the UPS and system status. Now we are going to turn on few loads and the load percentage will increase too. As we have turned on some loads, as you can see. And at the same time, the load percentage is increased too. As you can see, load percentage is now 36%. Now we are going to turn off the switch of our UPS by using our Bluetooth enabled application. As you can see, the system turns off. Now I am going to turn on the main supply. As you can see, our system senses the main supply and starts charging of battery. Now as you can see, a new interface appears which will show mains mode, means our system is running on mains mode. This will show input voltage, input frequency. This section will show the status of the battery. It will take some time to calibrate. This section will show the grid charging in wattage. This will show battery type as we have selected lithium ion so it's showing lithium ion battery. This section is one of the most important part of our UPS. It will show boost voltage and ambient temperature. At the back panel of our UPS, there is an ambient temperature sensor, which I will show you. This is our ambient temperature sensor. Now we are going to see the features of ambient temperature sensor. I have taken two cups of water. One is cold and another one is hot. The cold one represents the winter season and hot one represents the summer season. Now I am going to put the ambient temperature sensor in the cold one which will represent the winter season. You can see the temperature on the application is dropped by 3.57 degrees celsius and at the same time the boost voltage is increased by 14.8 volt. It means during the winter season your battery will be charged properly and you will get a proper backup. Now I am going to put the ambient temperature sensor in the hot water which will represent the summer season. On the application, temperature increases, the boost voltage decreases. 
सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट फ्रीक्वेंट वाटर टॉपिंग एंड ओवर चार्जिंग इशूज दिस ए टी सी फीचर विल इंक्रीज योर बैटरी लाइफ बाई थर्टी परसेंट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू लो कट एंड हाई कट ऑफ आवर यू पी एस कंसिडर सिचुएशन विद मेन सप्लाई कमिंग फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिपार्टमेंट इज वेरी लो विच इज़ नॉट सफिशेंट टू रन यूर हाउस होल्ड लोड्स देन आवर यू पी एस विल कट द मेन सप्लाई एंड स्विच टू बैकअप मोड Currently, I am decreasing the input voltage supply. And here, our UPS is shifted to backup mode. And on Bluetooth application, you will see a warning sign. And this section show the low voltage. Consider another situation when main supply voltage is very high, which can damage your expensive appliances. Then our UPS will switch to the backup mode. I am increasing the input voltage supply. As you can see, our system is switched to the backup mode, and this warning sign appears. Here you can see the high voltage. Now I am going to show you various other features of our UPS which you can select using our Bluetooth application. When you click on these three dots, the two options will appear at the bottom. The first one is the diagnose and another one is the setting. Select diagnose option for self assessment of software, hardware and connection establishment. Now open setting to enable or disable various other features. First you have to turn on the settings. The first option is the UPS type. You can select wide window or narrow window. Second option is the battery type selection. Whichever battery is connected to the UPS, you can select here. You can even change grid charging current. The fourth option is the battery reserve mode. The fifth option is the buzzer enable or disable. You can even enable or disable the buzzer sound coming from your UPS. And the sixth option is for the alert sound on and off. 